Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Iman. Just wanted to come to you real quick. Um, I am one week post-op VSG. I, mean, I guess I had it on um, Monday, November the 3rd. And today is Sunday, November the, what is it, the 9th. So we're going to say one week. Um, Sundays are going to be my best days for making videos. Um, so... Once I start posting my videos, I, I anticipate posting videos every Sunday um, for you guys. Um, I would like to yeah post every Sunday to be accountable. Um, I was 252 pounds at weigh-in on Monday morning for my surgery. Um, and when I got home, I was... 260 pounds um they pumped a lot of IV fluids into me um I was there for about 24 hours as of today I am down one pound um 251 pounds so the pre-op or uh, the um post-op fluids that were pumped into me are gone and so now my journey <laughs> truly begins the battle um begins um i'm not going to be discouraged uh about it i will just you know i'm i'm probably going to weigh in every single day um because that's just even when i lost 30 pounds in the past i step on the scale every day um that's just my personality um, so, yeah, so, let's see, I had the surgery on Monday, um, I, I want to say we got started like around 9 a.m., and by 10.30, I was waking up and recovering, um, I was in a lot of pain, and it was gas pain, and not only gas pain, but they gave me a binder, When I woke up, I had this this binder on me. Let me zoom out. Um, okay. Let's see if I can. Sorry, I have to adjust this thing. I don't know if I can get out anymore. But this this binder, this is what I had on me. This I had they gave me one when I was when I had my son. It was much longer than this. And um you you take it and you wrap it around your body. Um and when I wrap it myself, it's barely, you know, the natural stretch. This is without really stretching it. It barely ever lasts. When I tell you this thing, they had this thing so tight on me, it was like, you know, way over here, probably even further than that. And that just made, gave me so much pain. I know a lot of people like the binders, it's really great for gas pain. But I think with the, sh the my torso is really short. My torso is actually shorter than than this and so I think that um, just the shape of my body and my big old butt pushing it up and how tight they had this thing on me it was more uncomfortable um, than relieving so I took it off after maybe an hour I was like can y'all please take this thing off me this thing is making me so much more uncomfortable than the gas um, so, um, the gas is bearable. It, it hurt, especially the first day, but each day the gas got better. But I would say, not even the first whole day, the first two hours, the gas was just excruciating. Um, it really was. I'm not going to lie. I wasn't crying, but it was just so uncomfortable. And they didn't give me any other pain medicine than whatever they gave me for the anesthesia until 
until they um until I did the uh leak test. I did two leak tests before I got payment payments. I don't know, I keep walking away. But this is my new tummy. Um that's it. I wish I had it before, but this is it. And the dark, this dark. I saw them. I was in there. I could see the monitor as I drank the fluid for the leak test, and you could just see the fluid going down. And you know, and that's it. That is my tummy. Um, <clears throat> I, I passed the leak test, um, and I'll be going back tomorrow for. I don't know if they do a leak test one week post op or not, but it will be my. <coughs> I'm sorry, you guys. It will be my one week <clears throat> post op um, exam or follow up. So I have to let you guys know next week how that went. Um, the camera's not in a good enough position for you, for me to really show. Let's see. Um, these are my uh, scars, one here, one here, here. This is the big one in this. They are really small. I don't think that they'll be too obvious. This one might be somewhat obvious. Um, you know, as I heal, we'll see. I'm going to get some kind of Mederma or something to make sure that they're not too dark but um they're quite tiny incisions um and I, just don't, I don't think that i will have if i decide to walk around with my belly out <laughs> i don't think that i'll be ashamed of my scars i think that the um all the stretch marks that i have on my belly are gonna look worse than these scars um but it doesn't matter i'll be happy to get the weight off that is the goal and um if i need plastic surgery or anything like that well we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get to it i'm not keen on it i've been praying to god like lord i know you're gonna let me lose all of this weight you know i'm not gonna need no plastic surgery because you go, you gonna be my plastic surgeon lord um so we'll see um how my prayer is answered in about a year <laughs> Um, so I don't know what my goals are really. I don't know how I'm going to lose weight. I don't know if it's going to be fast or steady. Um, so I'll set goals soon. I want to see how this first week, now the post, not the post op or, you know, none of the, the, um, all the IV fluids, the weight from the IV fluids have been released from my body. Um, I will maybe after this week, I will maybe set some goals. And just see if I'm going to be a fast loser or not. And I know that um, some people lose really quickly the first two or three months. And then it levels off. But I don't know what kind of loser I'm going to be. I don't know if I'm going to be slow and steady the whole time. If I'm going to have a nice drop and then level off. But I did. I'm anticipating dropping a lot of weight the first two months. So I'm hoping I do. And so my goal. There's a um, um, bariatric pal. There is a holiday challenge that that goes for like two, like eight weeks. So I think I, that was from this Friday the seventh through like um, the first Friday in January or something like that. And um, and or is that nine weeks? It's like the first Friday in January, I think. And so I put that I would like to lose like I think like 45, 50 pounds, um, forty pounds because I'm. 42 pounds because I'm, um, well now I'm 251, but I was 252, um, and, um, and I would like to be 210, so that's like 42 pounds. Um, it sounds like a lot to lose in two months, but it, I think it's possible based on other people's, um, journeys, but it, you know, we'll see. We will see, um, how that goes. I would be... My first real goal, though, is to get to Wonderland, and 
I'll map it out after I start losing some weight. Um, other than that, I feel great. Most of the time, I still have some pain. And I don't think it's gas. I think it's from sleeping in a recliner now. So I need to, um, you know, I was sat in my bed for the first time last night. And I just need to, uh, to, I guess my body just needs to work the kinks out now. Um, but I have lost, since I started this journey, I've lost 14 pounds. So... 14 pounds in a month is actually not bad at all. And it's really been less than a month. It's really been like three weeks. But, you know, um, yeah. Because I, 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 um, I had my first doctor's appointment on the 7th, uh, October 7th. And so less than a month later, I was banded. So it's been a month because today's the 8th or 9th. Um, yeah, so 14 pounds in one month is not bad um, at all. And I look forward to being able to update you guys every week um, and let you guys know how I'm doing, um, how things are going. I plan on getting this video up this week. I, I think I have decided that I don't know if I want to put this on my existing YouTube channel. I, Cause I don't want to. Um, I don't have that many f people who follow me on YouTube that I know in real life, but I don't want the naysayers from the people I know in real life. You know, um, I haven't decided yet. But I did create a um, an Instagram because everybody follows me on Instagram. Everybody that I know, and it's not that I don't want them to know. I don't want them to know early. You know, it's, it's I don't want to hear, you know, if, if I'm not losing weight quickly, I don't want to hear about it. If I'm losing weight too quickly, I don't want to hear about it. It's like, I just, I, I want to be able to individually tell people things and just get comfortable with this and be out of the woods as far as possibility of having to go to the ER or any of that. I don't want anybody to say anything. Anything negative, so that's so why I created uh, Instagram, and it's called um, Curly Curvy underscore VSG um, 2014. And so, if you want to follow me on Instagram, um, I you can follow my VSG journey there. Um, but uh, yeah. Uh, we'll see which channel I upload this to. Um, anyway. Uh, what else? Um, I've had nothing but liquids. I haven't had a bite. I have not had a bite of food. And, um, well, it's, it's just because on my pre-op diet, I can have one meal a day. But the last two days of my pre-op diet, I did not eat anything solid. I only had liquids. Um, so it's been nine days, nine days since I've had a bite of food. Um, and this week, uh, this, I'm finished, today's my last day of, um, thin liquids or light liquids. So starting tomorrow, I can have thick liquids, um, like shakes made with milk or, um, light and fit yogurt or sugar-free pudding, um, stuff like that. And, um... I will be able to have soups, um, tomato and vegetable soup, um, but they need to be pureed, uh, so I'll do that for a week. Um, I've heard, I don't know about my doctor, but I've heard some doctors um, tell their patients if your stomach is doing really well, um, they don't have to necessarily go seven whole days um, from one um, part of the diet to the next. So we'll see what my doctor says tomorrow. Um, because he was already fast tracking me. Um, he said my surgery was awesome. It was textbook. It didn't take long. And I actually had a, um, a hiatal hernia, whatever it's called, repair and a, um, and the sleeve and like the nurse, the, the, um, upper, the OR nurse was like, oh, it's going to be about three hours to do the two surgeries. That's what he was telling my sister because my sister was trying to decide if she's going to leave, go get something to eat and come back to so see how much time she had. I was in there for an hour and a half. 
hour and a half. Not when I woke up, not even an hour and a half. When I woke up, it was 10 30. Um, so I don't know how long I was in recovery before I woke up, but um. He said when I woke up, my, um, before he took me back, my doctor asked me if it was a great procedure, if it was a textbook procedure, if I would want to go home the same day. And I, was, I said yes. But then I just was in so much gas pain and so uncomfortable. And I was like, there's no place at home that's going to be as comfortable as laying up in this hospital bed. So when he came back and asked me if I wanted to go home or stay the night, I told him I would stay the night. Um, and I'm glad I did. I feel like, you know, I paid, well, even insurance paid, I'm paying 3000 I'm paying 3500 out of pocket, um, because of the, um, because of my copay and the, um, and the a hernia repair. Um, but, um, I was like, Shh, paying $3,500 out of my pocket and then whatever the insurance is paying, I'm going to go ahead and stay in this hospital. Well, it was a surgery center. I'm going to stay one night, you know, and and reap the benefits of that and the nurses were awesome i i mean i had great i guess i had great nurses when i had my son i haven't i've only been hospitalized twice um and one time was because of the birth of my son and the second time was this right here because of um and that was by choice. I mean, the hernia did need to be repaired. We know that it's not great to walk around with the how the hernia, but um, you know. So, um, yeah, it it was a great experience. Um, if you're in the Houston area, true results. I had a great experience. Like I said, I had my first appointment on the seventh of October, and I had my surgery on the third. Um, my insurance was not tripping about nothing. It was cut and dry. You overweight, you, you got to be in my at least 40, you good to go. And that's pretty much how it was. Um, so, yeah. So, I think that's all I'm rambling. I'm going to have to edit this a little bit. It's getting a little long. But, um, yeah, I feel fine. I feel a little fatigued um, time to time. I have taken naps every day since I've had the surgery. But every day I feel better. Every day I feel less pain. I have not had any pain medication in about 24 hours now. And the only reason I consider taking it is just because of this, um, you know, this d discomfort I have in my neck. And I, I really believe it's because of the way I've been sleeping. So I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. And I look up forward to updating you next Sunday. Peace, YouTube.